Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The placement of the arbitrary posterior palatal seal is accomplished after the maxillary master cast has been trimmed and thoroughly dried. The first step is to carefully mark the anatomical structures that we use for in, in the aid of posterior uh, length of the denture. And those structures, as you know, are the fovea palatini close to the midline and the hamular notch area located on either side of the posterior border. The posterior border of the posterior palatal seal is determined from the what we call the ah line or the vibrating line which is determined from the patient. In this particular uh, example that ah line is located about one millimeter posterior to the fovea palatini in the midline and extends to the hamular notch on either side. So I'm going to draw the posterior border of where we want the denture and, of course, the post dam area to be. Notice that it goes to the notch, to the hamular notch area, but it does not go through the notch. The anterior portion of the posterior palatal seal in the midline should be at least three or four millimeters anterior to the posterior limit. and then should blend down to the posterior border laterally. The posterior palatal seal is then scribed by the use of a number eight round burr in a straight hand piece. I will scribe this line with the burr and I will scribe this line in between the anterior and the posterior limits of this post dam. The depth of the of the line will be approximately one half one half the depth of the number eight round burr. We scribe this line from the midline to the hamular notch area. Okay, now that line, repeating, is approximately one half, one half the depth of the number eight round burr. We can then either use a vulcanite scraper or the round end of a number seven wax spatula and blend or re round off the edges of this line that we have scribed from the scribed line to the posterior area and also from the scribed line to the anterior limit of our post dam. The arbitrary posterior palatal seal has now been completed. The mid portion of the posterior palatal seal is one half the thickness of a number eight round burr. From the mid portion to the posterior border and to the anterior border, this has been scraped with a vulcanite scraper or a round end of a number seven spatula until these blend in with the tissue surface of the uh, master cast. 
the outline of the post dam uh, I have scribed just for uh, demonstration purposes only. After this has been completed, uh, max the maxillary base plate can now be fabricated. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.